Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So friends, we have an app by the name Carious Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. Once you have downloaded, you will be able to log in with your Gmail ID. As well as once logged in, you will be transferred to our application, which you can see with various options, home, all courses, my courses and doubts. You will be also provided with the Crack 10 course here, which you can use to pay for the course that will help you to reduce 10% on the amount you will be paying. Apart from this friends, in the course, if we talk about, we will be providing you with the current affairs on the daily basis, on weekly basis and on monthly basis. On daily basis, we will provide you with 20 questions of quiz along with PDF of that particular day. Similarly for weekly, on weekly purpose, on weekly basis, we will be providing you MCQ questions quiz of 50 questions on weekly basis as well as a PDF of the current affairs of that particular week that are helpful for you and similar for monthly basis you will be provided with a PDF of top 100 question and answers of that particular month that will be very helpful for you in the revision purpose. Also friends we will provide you in bilingual language that is both in English as well as in Hindi also we will be providing you this all these PDFs and quizzes also. The quizzes that are in your applications are very helpful and interesting way for revision. Apart from this friends, we have content related to banking awareness also. Apart from that, we provide you current affairs in topic wise format also such as apps and web portals, important days, books and authors, national affairs, international affairs and many more. Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are all good. So students, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs of 17th and 18th of July. The session will be very helpful and important to you. So do watch the video till the end. First of all, we will be discussing some important question answers and then we will be moving to the news part. Jerusalem Declaration, which was seen in the news, is a strategic agreement between Israel and which country? So remember, if we talk about Jerusalem Declaration, it was between Israel and United States of America. Alright, this was a joint declaration on US-Israeli strategic cooperation that was signed by President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lippet. Highly important, who became the new Prime Minister of Israel? Yair Lippet and he will replace whom? Neftali Bennett. And also remember, the shorting serving Prime Minister of Israel is Neftali Bennett. So the correct option here becomes USA. Next. Which Indian city has been selected for the uh, for the first cultural and tourism capital of SCO? First of all, what is SCO? Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So remember, which is the first city that has been selected to become the first cultural and tourism capital of SCO for the year 2022 to 2023? It is your Varanasi that is located in the states of Uttar Pradesh. All right. So indirectly, question can be asked that which is the or you can say Varanasi will become the capital city for SEO for the year 2022 to 2023. Next, Jagriti, which was seen in news recently, it is a mascot related to which field? Very important question, friends. All right. I want you to all take a note of this question. Jagriti. Jagriti was seen in news recently. It is a mascot. It is of related to which field. So remember, the Department of Consumer Affairs has launched this Jagriti, a mascot for empowering consumers and generating awareness of their rights. So basically, it is for consumer awareness. I repeat, Jagriti was a mascot for empowering consumers and generating awareness of their right this will be shown along the tagline that is jago grahak jago if you remember a very famous tagline of india that is playing played for a very long time that is jago grahak jago this is the tagline and the mascot was jagriti and it is for to creating awareness of the uh, creating awareness for consumer and their rights all right, it will be used to generate consumer awareness about the various themes of departments like provision of Consumer Protection Act, hallmarking, national consumer helpline number that is 1915 and among various other things. So correct option here, Jagriti is related to consumer awareness. 
नेक्स्ट विच इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉज रैंक फर्स्ट इन द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशनल रैंकिंग फ्रेमवर्क ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन द एन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग विच वॉज द इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट वॉज रैंक फर्स्ट इट इज योर आई आई टी मद्रास करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज आई आई टी मद्रास रिमेंबर हु रिलीज दिस एन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग इट वॉज रिलीज बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन हैज रिलीज दिस एन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई आई टी मद्रास इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मद्रास हैज रिटेन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन हैज रिटेन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर द फोर्थ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर इन द ओवरऑल कैटेगरी एंड द सेवेंथ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर इन द इंजीनियरिंग कैटेगरी और राइट स्पेसिफिकली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंजीनियरिंग कैटेगरी आई आई टी मद्रास सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर द सेवन टाइम एंड इन द ओवरऑल कैटेगरी आई आई टी मद्रास सिक्योर द फोर्थ पोजिशन फर्स्ट पोजिशन फॉर द फोर्थ टाइम कॉन्जिक्यूटली और राइट देन इन सेकेंड प्लेस इन द ओवरऑल कैटेगरी इट वॉज योर आई आई टी डेली एंड ऑन थर्ड प्लेस इट इज योर आई आई टी बॉम्बे सो कमिंग बैक इन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग दैट इज योर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट Ranking framework for 2022 that was released by Ministry of Education. The st- institute that topped here was IIT Madras. Next, which Indian state launched EFIR service and a police app? I repeat, EFIR service and a police app facility was launched by Uttarakhand state. It was launched by the Police Department of Uttarakhand. All right, the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand is Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched this EFIR facility, and Uttarakhand Police application was also launched. All right, so with the help of the launch of this EFIR facility, it will help people file an online FIR. How it will be helping for providing online FIR in case related to theft, among others. All online services provided by the state police to the public have been integrated in the Uttarakhand Police app. and they will include gora shakti traffic eye public eye meri yatra lakshya naksha mutra mukt uh, lakshya nasha mukt uttarakhand so these all will be integrated all right so the correct option here is uttarakhand also remember friend uttarakhand was the first state to approve the use of drones in healthcare sector all right and in odisha if we talk about first ovep that is first Olympic Values Education Program was launched here. So moving on, let's move to the news part now. See, the first news is related to the question we just saw about NIRF ranking. Who released the NIRF ranking? This NIRF ranking for the year twenty twenty two was released by Ministry of Education. And who topped in the overall ranking here? It was your IIT Madras who topped in the overall. ranking if we talk about for the engineering section it was for the seventh time that iit madras has topped this nirf ranking consecutively and if we are talking about overall ranking it was the fourth consecutive time that this particular iit madras has topped this ranking so coming back once revise all the news that this NIRF ranking was released by Ministry of Education. Who is our Minister? Dharmendra Pradhan ji. They released what? They released the Indian ranking 2022 for higher education institutes on performance, and the name is National Institute Ranking Framework. That is your NIRF. Also remember, this is for the fourth consecutive year that in the overall category, IIT Madras has topped this. ranking apart from this if we talk about other ranks so remember on the second position it was your iit delhi and on third position it was your iit bombay who secured the uh, iit bombay who secured the third position in this nirf ranking all right moving on okay tell me where is the uh, remember in 2015 only for the first time the indian ranking was released in as uh, 2016 means it was approved in 2015 that these nirf rankings will be released but then in 2016 it was released for the first time moving on and which is the if question asks which ministry releases it it is your ministry of ministry of education next next news very important news friends mark this also it is government has launched a jagriti mascot we just saw in the question format that what was this jagriti mascot it was launched for empowering consumers i repeat it was launched for empowering consumers and generating awareness towards the consumers 
राइट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस मैस्कॉट इज जागृति मास्कॉट ऑल्सो फ्रेंड्स वी गेव अ टैग लाइन टू इट दैट वॉज जागो ग्राहक जागो हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट वॉज द मैस्कॉट जागो ग्राहक जागो ग्राहक जागो ऑल राइट दिस वॉज द टैग लाइन और दिस वॉज द टैग लाइन फॉर द मीडिया कैंपेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस जागृति मैस्कॉट हेयर यू कैन सी द एम इज टू स्ट्रेंथन कंज्यूमर अवेयरनेस कैंपेन्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ डिजिटल एंड मल्टी मीडिया एंड टू फाइंड सोल्यूशन टू प्रॉब्लम फेस बाय द कंज्यूमर्स इफ वी टॉक अबाउट जागृति रिमेंबर दिस मैस्कॉट इज प्रोजेक्टेड एज एन एम्पावर्ड कंज्यूमर हु स्प्रेड्स अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग कंज्यूमर राइट्स एंड एड्रेस इज सोल्यूशन टू देयर इशूज दे फेस If we talk about the highlight of it, we have to remember that this Jagriti mascot will create awareness about various themes of departments, including provisions of the Consumer Protection Act of 2019, hallmarking National Consumer Helpline toll free number that is 1915. We just saw. Also, you can use this number in order to, if the uh, remember recently there was a news that. service charge cannot be taken by the restaurant or hotels so if any restaurant or its hotel is forcing you to pay the service charge you can contact on 1915 there is a consumer helpline number then you can guide your problem or you can pro- uh, tell them your issue and they will be resolving it moving on next so here you can see it is your Department of Consumer Affairs under the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, who launched this Jagriti mascot, and the theme of this campaign is Jago Grahak Jago. Moving on to the next news, friends. Recently, Ministry of Defence (MOD) has set up an Apex Committee for performance and efficiency audits. This is a major shift from existing transaction-based compliance audits to outcome-based performance and efficiency audits. i repeat recently which committee has or which ministry has set up an apex committee for performance and efficiency audit it is your ministry of defense who is the head of uh, or if i ask you who will be heading this apex committee ajay kumar who is currently an ias member he will be heading this presently or he will be heading this apex committee he is a defense secretary also all right here we are talking about defense secretary who will be heading this apex committee and he is ajay kumar all right what will be the functions of this committee then remember the apex committee will provide valuable inputs in planning and execution of any projects and suggestion improvement on the same the areas identified for the conduct of performance and efficiency audits they are defense capital procurement provisioning logistics inventory levels maintenance of platforms roles of authority holding sealed particulars and various others all right highly important moving on so once remember remember this ministry of defense set up what apex committee for performance and efficiency audit and it will be headed by whom it will be headed by ajay kumar who is an ias and also a defense secretary next question means next news India to get its first ever underwater train by the year 2023 highly important Q- Kolkata's futuristic metro covering a distance of 16.34 km east west corridor that ends under the Hooghly river that is a distributary of Ganga all right i repeat in the by the year 2023 india will get their first ever under underwater train with kolkata's futuristic metro all right it will be of around 16.34 km long if we talk about this this initiative in india's version of eurostar train that travels between london and paris the underwater rail will connect howda to dalhousie square in kolkata that is the bbd bag i repeat if we talk about the location that this will be covering that will be from howra to bbd bag in kolkata highly important remember this next next news is related to assam assam and arunachal pradesh they have signed a pact to resolve border disputes i repeat assam and arunachal pradesh have signed to resolve a border dispute but what was this dispute about first of all let's look at it 
द रीजन बिहाइंड द डिस्प्यूट इज द जेनेसिस ऑफ द बॉर्डर डिस्प्यूट दैट लाइज इन एटीन सेवेंटी थ्री वैन द ब्रिटिश स्टार्टेड द इनर लाइन रेगुलेशन दीज आर द इमेजनेट बाउंड्रीज बिटवीन द प्लेन एंड हिल्स एरियाज ऑफ नॉर्थ एंड असम ऑन द अदर स्टेट्स इन द मीन आई मीन इन द नॉर्थ ऑफ असम एंड द अदर स्टेट्स द रेगुलेशन रिक्वायर्स पीपल फ्रॉम अरुणाचल प्रदेश टू टेक परमिट बिफोर एंटरिंग दीज स्टेट्स द कमिटीज वर आर नाउ keen on resolving the dispute between these two states so the chief minister of assam himanta biswa sarma and chief minister of arunachal pradesh pema khandu ji has signed an agreement to end this decade and decade old border dispute between these two states the agreement that was signed at namsai in arunachal pradesh therefore it is also known as namsai declaration i want you to remember this term namsai declaration question will be direct that this Nam, uh, namsai declaration is related to what it is related to in order to resolve the border dispute between assam and arunachal pradesh all right this is your namsai resolution also remember in order to resolve this dispute 12 regional communities were constituted how many 12 regional communities were constituted the committees were tasked with submitting recommendations to state governments to keeping view the historical perspective administrative convenience cognitive and people wills all right they will all help in to resolve this namsai declaration that is a pact to resolve the border dispute between assam and arunachal pradesh next news is regarding bundelkhand expressway that was recently inaugurated in uttar pradesh who inaugurated this it was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi even in many social media platforms the news was running that this bundelkhand expressway is just related to an expressway that is in mumbai because you can see everywhere there is sand and this was compared to the dubai infrastructure so what do you have to remember from this that who inaugurated it it was prime minister narendra modi how long it is it is 296 km where is it located in up and what is the name bundelkhand expressway all right so this four lane expressway which will be expanded into six lane passes through seven districts of up chitrakoot banda mahoba hamirpur jalon aurya and etawa and this we just saw this bundelkhand expressway will be built at a cost of 14850 crore rupees it is developed by whom it is developed by uttra uh, uttar pradesh expressway industrial development authority next 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 news also we covered in the mcq that which is the first city or the capital city that will be of sco for the time period 2022 to 2020 Three. It is your Varanasi city of Uttar Pradesh. I repeat, the first cultural and tourism capital of SEO, that is your Shanghai Corporation Organization, is your Varanasi, and this was said by the Jiang Ming. Who is Jiang Ming? Remember, Jiang Ming is the Jiang Ming is the Secretary General of SEO. All right. So, who will become the first? cultural and tourism capital of seo it is your varanasi of uttar pradesh and this appointment of varanasi uttar pradesh to become the one of the cap first capital uh, city or you can say the first cultural and tourism capital of seo was done during or announced during the conference that was held in beijing china all right so remember it directly it is important also one more question India will take the chair of SCO from Uzbekistan during the 2022. All right. Next, one more thing. India hosted the head of governments of SCO meets in 2020. Next, here you can see the currently SCO members are China, India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Pakistan, Tajikistan, and. Uzbekistan these are the members of SCO as of now SCO was formed in 2001 this is an intergovernmental organization founded in Shanghai China on 15th of June 2001 moving on next news next is bank of india with pfrda has launched a platform for opening nps account via mobile phone i repeat bank of india 
and your pension fund regulatory and development authority that is your pfrda in association with the k fintech that is your uh, k fintech that has launched a digital platform that will allow customers to open their national pension system accounts using their mobile phones so this nps is your national pension system who is the chairman of pfrda supratim Bandopadhyay is the current chairperson of PFRDA and he inaugurated this digital platform in the presence of Atanu Kumar Das who is the MD and CEO of Bank of India. This NPS account can be opened by scanning the QR code that takes to the website where the customers can fill in the Aadhaar number to fetch pictures and other, uh, other details from your digital locker which contains all the documents. All right, so coming back, the Bank of India along with PFRDA have launched the platform for opening, opening national pension system accounts just using their phones. Highly important news. Next, next friends, remember DBS Bank was named as the world's best SME bank for the year 2022 by Euro Money for the second time. I repeat, DBS Bank was named world's best SME bank by euro money for the second consecutive time remember this news very important all right i'll say very important which bank was named as the world's best sme bank by euro money it is your dbs bank and that is for the second time first time it was in 2018 next news next is rajnath singh has recently launched a y30 3023 dhunagri that is up under project 17A frigate built by GRSE. What is GRSE? Garden Reach Shipbuilders Limited. So two question. Who launched Y3023 Dhunagri? It was launched by Rajnath Singh. First thing. Second, who built Y3023 Dhunagri? It was built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders Limited. And this remember Dhunagri, it has been named after a mountain range in the state of Uttarakhand. It was under the project 17A. So three, four things. Remember, first, it is the fourth project. Also, yes, one more thing. It is the fourth ship under the project 17A. So coming back, Rajnath Singh inaugurated this ship. You can see here Y3023 Dunagri. Dunagri is the name of a mountain range in Uttarakhand. It is the fourth ship under the project 17A. And who built this? It was built by GRSE. That is your Garden Reach Ship Builders limited one more thing what is y3023 dunagri it is a guided missile frigate all right it is a guided missile frigate and it is of a shivalik class it was of shivalik class and it is a guided missile frigate developed by grse named after a mountain range in uttarakhand and fourth ship under the project 17a and who launched it it was launched by minister rajnath singh Next news friends, MSME minister launched Repose Pay, a mobile electric charging platform and Digital, a fintech platform for fueling India 2022. So two things you have to remember, name of a platform that is Digital, and other is a mobile electric charging uh, platform that is Repose Pay. It was launched by our MSME minister and who is our MSME minister? Tatu Raneji. So remember, Tatu Rane, who is our union minister for MSME, has launched Repose Pay, that is a mobile electric charging platform, and Fi Digital, a fintech platform at the Fueling India 2022 event in Mumbai, Maharashtra. So you have to remember two terms, Repose Pay and Fi Digital. Repose Pay is a platform through which a person can order mobile electric charging vehicle on application and charge their vehicles. Second is Fijital. Fijital is a fintech platform that will bring credit to fuel customers buy now pay later feature through technology. The energy fintech platform will enable bulk customers to obtain fuel on credit also. All right. So remember, Tatu Rane launched these two platforms. One is your Repose Pay and the second is your Phi Digital. Next, next remember actor and a filmmaker Pratap Pothan has recently passed away at the age of 70. He was born in the year 1952 on 13th of August in Kerala. He, is a, he was an Indian actor and filmmaker who has done more than 100 films and directed 12 films. 
ही वर्क एज अ स्क्रिप्ट राइटर एंड अ प्रोड्यूसर इन द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज आर डी धीमन आर डी धीमन बिकेम द न्यू चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट हु हिमाचल प्रदेश गवर्नर राजेंद्र विश्वनाथ आरलेकर हैज अपॉइंटेड द एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ पावर एंड इंडस्ट्री रामदास धीमन दैट इज योर आर डी धीमन एज द न्यू चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश तो रिमेंबर हिमाचल प्रदेश गवर्नर राजनाथ विश्वनाथ आरलेकर हैज अपॉइंटेड आर डी धीमन एज द न्यू चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज इंपॉर्टेंट अपॉइंटमेंट फ्रेंड्स और राइट हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश जयराम ठाकुर सो दीज वॉल दीज वर ऑल योर न्यूज फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स क्विकली रिवाइज ऑल द न्यूज इन वन गो एन आई आर एफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू रैंकिंग वॉज रिलीज दैट वॉज रिलीज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड दिस आई आई टी मद्रास एंड टॉप्ड इन ओवरऑल कैटेगरी डी सी ए हैज लॉन्च अ मैस्कॉट टू फॉर एम्पावरिंग कंज्यूमर्स एंड क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस दैट वॉज मैस्कॉट नेम इज जागृति नेक्स्ट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस सेटअप एन एपेक्स कमेटी फॉर परफॉर्मेंस एंड एफिशियंसी ऑडिट्स India gets its first ever underwater train in Kolkata. Assam and Arunachal Pradesh signed a pact to resolve the border dispute. PM Narendra Modi inaugurated a 296 km long Bundelkhand expressway in UP. Next, Varanasi designated first culture and tourism capital of SEO for the year 2022 to 2023. Inflation pushed 71 million people into poverty since Ukraine war. A report released by UNDP. We have multiple times discussed such reports. Next, Bank of India and Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority has launched a platform for opening na- uh, national pension account through mobile phone itself. Next, DBS Bank was named as the world's best SME bank 2020 by Euro Money for the second time. CCI has uh, CCI approves increase in voting rights held by CC uh, CPPIB in renew acquisition of AFLI by Aegis, indirect subscription of shares of CTS Tech by Bain Capital and Bain Credit. Next, Rajnath Singh has launched a Y three zero two three Dunagri. This is the fourth edition of the Project Seventeen A ship. All right, it is a Project Seventeen A that was launched in Kolkata. Also, remember this was built by G R S E. Next, M S M E Minister Narayan Rane has launched a mobile electric charging application. Actor filmmaker Pratap Pothan has passed away at the age of seventy. He was from Kerala. N H P C has signed two M O U S to develop green hydrogen technology in Leh and Kargil. And R D Dhiman became the new Chief Secretary of Himachal Pradesh. So, friend, this was all your news for today, and they are important. These were for seventeenth and eighteenth of July. All right, friends. Now it's time for you for your homework. First question is: Which union ministry implemented the Mission Shakti scheme? Second, India reported first monkeypox case in which state or union territory? Third, what is the rate of inflation on All India Wholesale Price Index in June 2022? Fourth, rebate of state and central taxes and levies scheme is associated with which union ministry? Fifth. Which Indian state is included in the world's 50 greatest places of 2022 by the Time magazine? So, friends, these were all your question. I hope you have enjoyed your session. Do pay attention, and I want you all to comment below the answer of all these homework questions. That's all for the day, friends. Thank you, and have a nice day. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session, and you can follow us on the. YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud. telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@theratofaffairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue